Help support AMTV by becoming a patron, an AMTV staff member, and following us over on Twitter. Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here. And welcome back to another special video because today I'm going to be taking you through my Blu-ray collection. Now, I've been a fan of collecting physical media ever since I was small. You've already seen, I did a video recently on my vinyl collection, so I thought it'd be quite apt to take you through my Blu-rays. Now, throughout the history of this YouTube channel, I've taken you on these updates sporadically, haven't I? I've done collection videos and stuff, and I was mainly a DVD guy, but only in the last few years have I finally made that transition to high definition, about 10 years after after everybody else. So now I'd say my collection is largely Blu-ray and similar to the vinyls, I'm gonna take you through what is on this shelf. Now this is my main Blu-ray shelf. This is where I store the Blu-rays that I've actually watched. Also similar to the vinyl one, we're gonna go through each of the titles I have. Some of them I'll stop and give some commentary on if I feel I want to, but it won't be every single one. But without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy my Blu-ray collection. Four, three, two, one. The Up series, from 7up to 63up, a fantastic series made every seven years. Just honestly, a fascinating look at how people grow up and lead different lives. Big recommend. 8 Mile, 10 Rillington Place, 12 Angry Men, one of the just best dramatic films ever made. I'd, again, I'd recommend this one. There's also a stage version. 12 Years a Slave, 21, 23 Seconds to Eternity, so glad this is out. The KLF's material, whether that be their music or video stuff, has rarely seldom seen like a physical media release, especially in the modern age. So for the BFI to collaborate with them and put this out is just great. So if you're a fan of the KLF, you need this. 28 Days Later, 127 Hours, 1917, 2012, the London 2012 Olympic Games, the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, the Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle, this is such an underrated classic, man. I remember growing up with this, and none of my other friends did. And when I try and introduce it to people now, they don't really get it. But this, honestly, this film for me is fantastic. And always will be fantastic. Very cheesy, but also very, very good. The AGFA Horror Trailer Show. This is a neat little compilation of various trailers. It's just, if you like horror trailers, particularly for horrors that don't even look that good, then I recommend you watch this. Air Force One. All Quiet on the Western Front. This is the original version from 1930. This film is almost 100 years old, and it's still, still incredibly powerful. American Graffiti. For those who don't know, this is what got George Lucas sort of famous before Star Wars came out. American Psycho. Amy. Another Hood. This is one of my favorite comedies ever. It's such a British thing, a British parody, and a lot of people don't get it. Even Brits don't get it, but this just clicked with me, man, and I, I love it to pieces, so big up Another Hood. Some of a hood. The sequel, well, sort of sequel, came out last year. It wasn't what I expected. It still did make me laugh. It was funny. But I think the first one, Another Hood, is always going to have that special place. Apollo 13, Arthur Christmas, The Artist, Assault on Precinct 13. I've somehow ended up with a Region 1 copy of this. I'm not quite sure how I've managed that. Attack the Block. This is a rental copy as well, for some reason. The Babadook, Baby Driver, Bachelor Party. Quite a quirky early Tom Hanks film. The Back to the Future trilogy. Bag Boy, Lover Boy. This is just, I mean, I like my horror films, man, but this is just, uh, the only word I can use for this is depraved. Barbie. Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Batman, the complete television series. Batteries not included. Be Kind Rewind. Love, love, love this film. Especially if you like physical media, you'll find a soft spot for this. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. This was part of HMV's premium collection. You can see that silver strip at the top. I have a few of these. Really neat little packages, mainly delving from the Warner Brothers catalog. The Beatles, Eight Days a Week, The Touring Years. Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. The Bee Gees, How Can You Mend a Broken Heart? A phenomenal documentary about the Bee Gees. If you're a fan or you want to learn more about them, highly, highly recommend that you check this out. Bee Gees Double Pack, featuring One Night Only, and One For All, the tour from 1989. Continuing with my Bee Gees trend, this is a series of two different live shows they did. I know people celebrate One Night Only more, but I kind of prefer One For All, which was the earlier concert, but that's just me. Bee Movie, you like jazz? The Before Trilogy, three of my favorite films ever. These, It's really hard to sum these up. They were made every nine years by Richard Linklater, and they're just, 
they're phenomenal. They're very real. They're very raw, very emotional, very powerful. Please just, please go and watch them. Bella Lugosi triple pack featuring Murders of the Rue Morgue, The Black Cat, and The Raven. Ben-Hur, The BFG, Big, Big Trouble in Little China, Birdman, Black Sheep. This is a very funny, very bizarre horror film, but it's one that you, you know, you want to gather your mates around and watch it with them. It'll definitely get a laugh. Blinded by the Light, The Blob, such a classic horror film, stands up really well. Blood Rage, The Boat That Rocked, The Bodyguard, Body Melt. This is a slice of Australian horror, and again, this is like I use with another title. This is just depraved, but such a such a fascinating watch. So if you're if you're in if you don't mind gore, then this is for you. Bohemian Rhapsody, Borg vs. McEnroe, Boyhood, Brain Damage, Braveheart, The Breakfast Club, Breathe. Bros, after the screaming stops. I'm a big fan of my music docs, as you can probably tell, and this is a great one about the the duo, Bros, Bubba Hotep, The Bucket List, The Burbs, The Butler, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, Carrie, Catch Me If You Can, Chernobyl, The Complete Series, a phenomenal mini-series that was put out around 2019 about the famous disaster. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Chucky, The Seven Movie Collection, this set irked me for ages because it was so hard to find this for so long, and at the time it contained all the Child's Play films. Uh, so Child's Play, Child's Play 2, 3, Bride of T Chucky, Seed of Chucky, Curse of Chucky, and Cult of Chucky, I think, are all the ones included in there. Child's Play. And then they released this, which is from 2019, a remake. Uh, it's not bad, I'll say that, it's not bad, but I think the original and that whole series is still, it's still the superior one. Christine, Cloverfield, Coffee... The Best of the Central Office of Information. This is a great release if you're into the public information films that I've touched on on the channel. Like a lot of stuff put out back in the 60s and 70s that have gone on to become like sort of cultural legend here in the UK. So you can get that release from the BFI. Cold War Creatures, four films from Sam Katzman. This is a fun little box set with like a series of B-movies from Sam Katzman. None of them are particularly fantastic, but they're more iconic because of how bad they are. Commando. The Cornetto Trilogy, featuring The World's End, Hot Fuzz, and Shaun of the Dead. Creed, Creed 2, Creed 3. I was all for Creed, you know, sort of going the same route as the Rocky films, but as they've gone on, I think Creed 3 wasn't necessarily phenomenal, so I, th I think they can stop there. Cube, Culloden and The War Game, The Day After Tomorrow, The Day the Earth Caught Fire. This is a really cool film from the early 60s, like an apocalyptic one, but considering its age... It tells a really powerful story, done in a really great way. The Day the Earth Stood Still, in a lovely, lovely still book, but one of the best sci-fi films ever made. Dead End Drive-In, more Australian horror, not as gory as Body Melt, but equally as bizarre, and one that I'd recommend. The Death of Stalin, Defcon 4, Detroit, The Devil's Rejects, Die Hard, Dirty Dancing, The Abominable Dr. Fibes, Dr. Fibes Rises Again, Dr. Strangelove, Dr. X, this is a movie from 1932. It's not talked about much, but it was famous for using a two-tone color process to give you an illusion of early color. And it, it does hold up quite well. So if, if you like horror and you're curious, then check out Dr. X. Dodgeball, Dog Soldiers, Dot Com for Murder, Dracula. This is the first of the Hammer series of Dracula films with Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. Dracula AD 1972, The Satanic Rites of Dracula, Duel. Steven Spielberg's first film, of course, and again, really atmospheric, claustrophobic, holds up quite well. Earth vs. the Flying Saucers, Easy Rider, Ed Wood, one of the best films Tim Burton's ever made, in my view. Eddie the Eagle, this is one of my favourite films. Something about sports dramatisations, considering I'm not really a sporty person, even though I know a lot of it is has been made up for dramatic effect or interpreted or whatever, this is just such a wholesome film, so big up Eddie the Eagle. Vincent Price in Six Gothic Tales by Edgar Allan Poe. This contains the Edgar Allan Poe series, so you can see the titles on the front there. There's only two missing here. One of them is Premature Burial, which as far as I can see does not have a Blu-ray release in Region 2. I do have the DVD though. And the other one you will see in just a sec, The Mask of the Red Death. Not sure why this is left off on the collection, but nice to have it on Blu-ray at the very least. The Elephant Man, Elvis, Elvis Presley, The Searcher, this is a documentary on Elvis, and it's it's long. It's like nearly three hours long. Enchanted, Erin Brockovich, Escape from New York, 
Escape Plan, Evil Ed, one of the goofiest but also greatest horrors ever made, if you ask me, E.T., The Extraterrestrial, The Fablemans, The Fault in Our Stars, Fences, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Filth, with filth to describe it, basically, if you enjoyed the train spot in films, you will like this. Final Destination, Final Destination 3. Yes, I know I don't have two. I still need to get Final Destination 2 on Blu-ray. I'm quite not sure why I haven't got it yet, but I will. The Final Destination in 3D, Final Destination 5, Flashdance, Flash Gordon, The Florida Project, The Fly. This is the original from the late 50s, a really great film, The Fly. And this is the remake from 1986, which is equally great in its own right, home by David Cronenberg, Forbidden Planet, Forrest Gump, The Founder, Four Lions. Again, another comedy that back when it came out just tickled me like nothing else and still holds up really well. Foxy Brown, The Curse of Frankenstein. This is the first of the ha uh, Hammer Frankenstein films and arguably from the ones I've seen the best. Friday the 13th, eight movie collection. This has the first eight films in the Friday the 13th franchise. As far as I can see, Jason Goes to Hell Part 9 and Jason X, the 10th one. They have Blu-ray releases as part of that big collection and over in Region 1 territories, but I can't see they've had them in Region 2, so I'm not sure why that is, but I still have my DVD copies. Gavin and Stacey, The Complete Collection, the Series 1 to 3 and the first Christmas special. I do need to get the, the new Christmas special, the one from 2019, although will they make more? We'll see. Ghostbusters. Godzilla. This is the 1998 American version. I do have uh, the Godzilla films ad nauseum. Like I have the first 15 Japanese ones on Blu-ray and a special set there from the Criterion Collection. And then all the other Japanese ones up until and including Shin Godzilla, I have uh, a mixture of DVD and Blu-ray. I need them to do a release of Godzilla Minus One. Please give us a Region 2 release. Godzilla and Kong, four films from the MonsterVerse. I'm annoyed because when I got this, I thought that was it. The MonsterVerse was done. But yet there's... There's a new Godzilla and Kong coming out, for some reason. Gravity, 3D. Grease, Grease 2. Got this in a cool little steel book, and not a bad film, not a bad sequel. Gremlins, Gremlins 2, the new batch. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Grindhouse, a Rodriguez Tarantino double feature. Halloween Trilogy. This is a trilogy of the, the latest Halloween films, which I think the first one's really good, the other two... You probably should have just stopped at the first one. I do have the first five original Halloween films on DVD. I know they're all in Blu-ray, but I'd love to get that box set that the States has got. Harry Potter, the complete eight film collection. Hellraiser, Hell High, Hidden Figures, The Hills Have Eyes, Hitchcock, Hitsville, The Making of Motown, The Hood Trilogy, Kidulthood, Adulthood, Brotherhood, Hostel, Parts 1, 2, and 3, Hot Tub Time Machine, this, I think, is quite an underrated comedy. I loved it when it came out, and I still think most of it holds up really well. So, a nice to have it on a cool little steelbook. House. This is a Japanese horror, and it's just... A lot of people have said it, but it's just bizarre. So, if you want bizarre horror, then check out House. House of Wax. This is a really cool horror from the 1950s. Holds up really well. The House That Dripped Blood. Hugo, in 3D. The Human Centipede. Don't ask. Please just... Don't ask. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. This is a version from 1923, a silent film with Lon Chaney as uh, Quasimodo. And just everything about this is just gorgeous. Even like this artwork on the cover. Look at that man. Look at it. I, Daniel Blake. I, Tonya. This is also one of my favorite films of the last 10 years. Just the way Margot Robbie portrays this story, the way this story is portrayed is just so effortless. And having trained as a figure skater myself, I just, this means a lot. Ice Age Trilogy. Four and five can, they can get in the bin. Ill Manners, Imperium, The Impossible, In the Loop. This is sort of the spiritual movie follow-up to the Thick of It series. The Inbetweeners movie, Inception. The Incredible Shrinking Man, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, The Invisible Man, The Iron Giant, The Iron Lady, Iron Sky, Island of Lost Souls, It's a Sin, It's a Wonderful Life, Ivor the Engine, The Complete Collection. This was so fun to get. This was released recently, and it's got all different versions of Ivor the Engine, which I grew up with, the, the 70s version, the color version, but it has the black and white series on here as well, and to have them all on one Blu-ray collection is just a really nice package. Jackass 3, Jackass 3.5, Jackass Forever, 
I do have Jackass uh, 1, 2, and 2.5, but there's there's been no Blu-ray release of it in Region 2, so DVD for now it is. The James Bond collection. This has everything from Doctor No up until uh, Spectre. No Time to Die. And this is the most recent Bond film. I still don't know why they haven't in the three years nearly since this one came out. They've not done an updated box set because I waited for ages, but I caved in and got the one you just saw. Jaws, the jazz singer, notable for being one of the first talky pictures back in 1927. Jesus shows you the way to the highway. John Wick, John Wick 2, John Wick 3, Parabellum, John Wick Chapter 4. Great series of films. Kind of wish they aren't going to make more. Apparently they are, but I just... Just leave it there, man. Joker, Journey to the Center of the Earth, Judy, Kick-Ass, King Kong, the original and the best, King of New York, The King's Speech, Knives Out, Labyrinth, Lady Bird, one of my all-time favorite films. Please, please go and watch it. I beg you, please. The Last House on the Left, Last Night in Soho, The Last Stand, The Lego Movie, The Lego Batman Movie, Le Miserable, Lifeboat, one of my favourite Alfred Hitchcock movies, this one. Life of Pi, Lion, The Lion King, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. Not a bad sequel. The Lion King 3, Hakuna Matata. And not a bad threequel, or midquel, whatever you want to call it. Little Shop of Horrors, Living, The Lodger, Logan, Logan's Run, Lovelace, Machete, Machete Kills. Still waiting on that third movie, man. When's it coming? Maggie, a great example if you want to see Arnie take on a more dramatic role that's not, like, inherently funny to watch. Man of a Thousand Faces, great look back at the at Lon Chaney himself, played uh, wonderfully by James Cagney. The Man Who Laughs, another great silent film example, The Man Who Laughs, just disturbing in a very enchanting way, so I recommend this one highly. Matilda, Matinee, Metropolis, Michael Jackson, Moonwalker, Michael Jackson's This Is It, Mindhorn, Miracle Mile, Misery, Money Monster, The Most Dangerous Game, Mothra. This is a Region 1 release of Mothra on Steelbook. I think there is a Region 2 one now from Eureka, but I think the Steelbook one looks pretty cool. Moulin Rouge, The Mystery of the Wax Museum. One of my favourite early films. This is from 1933, I think. Again, like Dr. X, it uses that two-tone colour process, which just looks really... Really enchanting to watch, to be honest. My Week with Marilyn. Network. A great sort of satire, I guess, of 70s television industry. But I guess the television industry as a whole, you could say. Nightmare on Elm Street collection. This has the uh, first seven Nightmare on Elm Street films. Everything just before the remake, which I'm <laughs> kind of glad that's not on there. 1984. This is a really cool BBC transmitted version from 1954 the very early days of television it was done live and stars peter cushing so to have it on blu-ray is a neat little oddity some say it's the best version nosferatu the old dark house one summer this is a wonderful early channel 4 drama from 1983 highly recommend you go back and watch this one oppenheimer parasite pet shop boys in a sanctum pet shop boys it couldn't happen here Yes, a movie featuring the Pet Shop Boys. It's weird. It doesn't make that much sense. It's very open to interpretation, and I love every single second of it. Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge, The Phantom of the Opera. This is the silent version from 1925. The Phantom of the Opera. Pieces, Piranha 3D, Piranha 3DD. Pixar Short Films Collection, Volume 1. Pixar Short Films Collection, Volume 2. From what I can tell, they never released Volume 3 on Blu-ray, which is odd, or at least here in Region 2. Play for Today, Volume 1. Play for Today, Volume 2. Play for Today, Volume 3. I highly recommend the Play for Today series if you haven't checked them out, especially if you want to watch classic British drama. I'd argue not all of them are, are winners, some of them are duds, but on the whole, good packages. The Polar Express, Poltergeist, Pretty in Pink, Pretty Woman, Pride... Promising Young Woman, The Raid, The Railway Children, Reanimator, Bride of Reanimator, Beyond Reanimator, Wreck, Wreck 2, Fear Revisited, Wreck 3, Genesis. These are Spanish horrors and they're really good. One and two are probably the better ones and I do need to get the fourth one on Blu-ray. It is out there. Red Dwarf, the complete series one to eight. 
Shout out to my buddy Phil and our Red Dwarf podcast, Everybody's Dead Dave. You should go and check that out. Lots of episodes you can catch up on. Red Dwarf Back to Earth, Red Dwarf Series 10, Red Dwarf Series 11, Red Dwarf Series 12. And I am planning on getting the Promised Land. Just I haven't got around to it yet. Robocop, Robo Geisha, Rocket Man, Rocky, the Heavyweight Collection, Romeo and Juliet, The Running Man, Saturday Night Fever, Saving Mr. Banks, Jigsaw, Spiral, from the Book of Saw, Saw 10. Yes, I know I only have the most recent ones on Blu-ray. I, I need to get a collection of 1 to 7 just because that original story I'll always maintain was really great. Uh, these ones aren't too bad, these most recent three. But yes, I do need to get 1 to 7 on Blu-ray stats. Still got my DVDs. The Sense of an Ending. Signs, Shallow Grave, The Shape of Water, The Shawshank Redemption, Shrek, The Whole Story. Yes, The Whole Story. So Shrek 1, 2, and 4, The Whole Story. Yes, yes, The Whole Story. The Silence of the Lambs, The Simpsons Movie, Slugs. Just, just that. Just Slugs. Slumdog Millionaire, Society. This is, uh, well, to tell you truthfully, I don't even know what to say about this one. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Soul Boys of the Western World. This is a fun little documentary about Spandau Ballet, who of course were massive in the 80s. Spider-Man, the Tobey Maguire trilogy. The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. Spider-Man No Way Home. I do have the other two Marvel Spider-Man films on DVD. I do need to get all of the MCU on Blu-ray really, but you know, this one, this one was just, this hit different, man. Hit different. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The Spy Kids trilogy. You see that? The trilogy. Don't see no sign of that fourth film. Stand By Me. Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. The neat little box set containing episodes one to nine. Steve Jobs. Straight Out of Compton. The Stuff. Sully. Miracle on the Hudson. Sunshine. Supersonic. Swiss Army Man. Targets. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trilogy. TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. You tell them a big Turtles fan. I don't think any of the films are... Okay, well, TMNT 3 back in the 90s, that's bad. But aside from that, I wouldn't say any of the others have been, like, horrific. The Terminator, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, my all-time favourite movie, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, Terminator Salvation, Terminator Genesis 3D, Terminator Dark Fate, Terminator The Sarah Connor Chronicles Series 1, Terminator The Sarah Connor Chronicles Series 2. A great television series. Highly recommend you check this out if you like the Terminator franchise. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Next Generation. I do need to get the first Texas Chainsaw on Blu-ray. Haven't got around to that yet, but the all the others that have come out since, uh, yeah, I can leave those. Theatre of Blood, their Finest, The Theory of Everything, The Thing from Another World, The Thing, Threads, one of the most harrowing things I have genuinely ever watched. So, yeah, if you want to be stunned, check out Threads. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, Tina, The Tingler, Titanic, Todd Browning's Sideshow Shockers featuring Freaks, The Unknown, and The Mystic, Top Gun, Total Recall, the Toxic Avenger, Toys Are Not for Children, Train Spotting, T2 Train Spotting, Trance, A Trip to the Moon, Truck Turner, Universal Monsters The Essential Collection. So this contains, let's see if I can remember, this has Dracula, Frankenstein, The Bride of Frankenstein, The Wolfman, The Invisible Man, Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Phantom of the Opera, the later Universal version, not the silent version. And The Mummy, I had to think then. So yes, eight classic universal horrors. Unstoppable, VHS, VHS 94, VHS 99. I love these little VHS anthology series. It seems only certain ones have been released on Blu-ray. The second and third films, so VHS 2 and VHS Viral, as far as I can see in Region 2, only got DVD releases, never Blu-ray ones, so I have those on my other shelf. And yes, I do have VHS 85, I just haven't watched it yet. Videodrome, Wallace and Gromit, The Complete Collection, War Games, The War of the Worlds and When Worlds Collide, one of the few 4Ks I actually own, so this has the 
50s War of the Worlds, and then a Blu-ray of When Worlds Collide. The Warriors, Westworld, When the Wind Blows, White Christmas, Whitney, Can I Be Me, Whitney Houston, I Wanna Dance With Somebody, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, The Wicker Man, another example of one of the few 4Ks I own, and of course I got this sent to me and did a review of it a few months ago on the channel, so you can check that out if you're curious, but a beautifully packaged box for The Wicker Man, The Wolf of Wall Street, World Trade Center, Yu-Gi-Oh, the movie, I was always more Yu-Gi-Oh than Pokemon, guys. I was on that side. Yu-Gi-Oh, The Dark Side of Dimensions. A loving tribute continuation of the series. I hope they do another one one day. Zombieland. Well, there you have it. That is everything on my main Blu-ray shelf. As I said at the start, there's still a bunch of Blu-rays that I haven't seen yet that I need to get through. I also still have some DVDs there on a completely separate shelf. Let me know in the comments if you want a more in-depth video on that. But I'd say my collection now is largely Blu-ray. We fully upgraded into HD. In terms of things like 4K and things like that, I'm not really too bothered about that. You know, the, the standard high definition stuff on Blu-ray, that'll suit me just fine. But thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like. It really does help us out. And subscribe to the channel as well. We'd love to have you aboard here with us. In the meantime, I've been Adam Martin from AMTV. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Thank you to all our patrons for supporting the show. And a special thank you to Macra, Bruce Danton, Globe of Reviews, Derek Chambers, Sean Nock, Dord Khan, Liam Domain, Trev Hughes, AJ Mac 200017, Deck KP20, Simon Harrison, Evan Hart 38, Jen, and Ted Elliott, our AMTV staff members.